Have you ever considered why it is in Australia we use pointing breeds primarily to hunt deer? I guess it's logical they make such a great companion and they are a genuine gun dog with a variety of breeds that we can choose from. So they're a good fit in theory. But I guess the question first and foremost that we need to ask before we buy a pointing breed is how do we want to use the dog to hunt? Because that will make life a hell of a lot easier if you know how you want the dog to behave prior to buying the dog breed. For example, I want my dogs to do what gun dogs are meant to do. And I use a training program that helps the dog train itself. What does a pointing dog want to do? They want to range, they want to learn to work scent, and they want to sneak in and point deer. But without the right mentoring, they won't do any of that properly and they'll end up chasing deer. However, if you wanted to have a dog that stayed right close at your feet, you've got to ask yourself if a pointing breed is the right fit, because you will be spending your whole time trying to wind your dog in and stop it doing what it's meant to do, and that's range and find game. So it's just a thought that if you do not want your dog ranging far, a Labrador or one of the breeds that we're allowed to use that might not be so wide ranging may be a better fit for you at least then you won't have to spend a huge amount of your time trying to stop the dog from moving around to find game. Anyway, here's an example of my two dogs. The left is two year old and the right, hidden away in the bushes, is my old dog, pointing a deer for 40 minutes that there's no way we would have found without the work of a well-trained pointing dog. 